Welcome back, Betty. Thanks for staying with me. Now, let's talk about the Ameri deal. A close confidant to the president, Gabi Asariel Tridako, is reporting the revised controversial Ameri deal is off. In a tweet on Thursday, the lawyer quoted a story by the Statesman newspaper with the headline, New Ameri deal is off. Unquote. Gabi Asario Tridako was a former editor of the Statesman newspaper, which is a pro government newspaper, as you'll well be aware. The journalists cannot independently confirm whether or not the Ameri deal is off, at least not yet. But the paper states that, quote, information from impeccable sources inside the House of the President leaked to the Daily Statesman in the past few hours suggests that the Energy Ministry's solo driven revised deal with the Dubai-based energy equipment provider Ameri will not see the light of day, unquote. Our presidential correspondent Elton Bobe is in the studio with me and he's going to help us. So we understand that there is a cabinet meeting ongoing, uh, usually every Thursday. Uh, it happens on Thursdays. Right. So uh, what do we know at this point? Well, we, we are waiting to hear the outcome of this cabinet meeting. We are told that among the issues that they are discussing is this Ameri issues. The information I've picked is that the energy minister was asked to brief the president on this particular agreement that is before parliament mm -hmm. for cabinet to take a decision on it. But earlier we were told that there was actually a meeting between the president and the energy minister yesterday after the swearing in of the, uh, the chairperson of the electoral commission. And this meeting also coincided with the first steering committee meeting of the MPP. So these matters were discussed. Now, what, I, what my source is telling me is that the government it's of the view that this American is not giving a, a good publicity. Their party has also added their own issues as far as this matter is concerned. Mm. I've also been speaking to some members on the Energy and the Finance Committee of Parliament. Now, the information I've picked, yet to be confirmed though, is that the president is asking for a redraw of the agreement that is currently before parliament, mm. seeking to you know, amend the original agreement and then bring in some other partners to manage the plans that we have in the country. Okay. Now, because Parliament is on recess, a withdrawal cannot take place unless Parliament is back and then a formal application is made on the floor of Parliament asking the Speaker to leave for the Minister to withdraw this particular agreement. Mm. Uh, when that is done, that is where you can say that the agreement has been taken out of Parliament. But, 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 but Elton, the President gave the executive uh, approval, didn't, didn't he? Of course. How he does did. that work? I mean, knowing that this has come to Parliament, what, what will ideally the process be? And, that, and that's very interesting. The information we are, we are hearing and the things we are hearing, we cannot independently verify. Remember, this particular agreement and the approval, we are told, happened at a time when the president was on tour mm -hmm. of the three northern regions of right. the country right. before it was sent to parliament and then for it to be taking place. Remember, mm -hmm. the parliament on its own, even though the MP with a majority in parliament, cannot initiate anything on its own. Mm. Business for parliament usually comes from the executive, executive at all times. So... Once that the, the agreement is before Parliament, it's assumed that it has the approval of the President. Okay. That is the, the basic thing before the majority leader can have a program on the other paper. So meaning that everything from the executive was satisfied before it was put on, on the floor of Parliament. Parliament. And what we are being told is that perhaps uh, due diligence or consultation, more consultation were not done before this particular matter was put before Parliament. That's how come Cabinet is firming up a decision on the Ameri Agreement and then we are told to wait for a statement that may come after the cabinet meeting, which okay. is currently ongoing. Okay. If the statement says that there should be a withdrawal, then they'll have to wait till October or get parliament to, you know, recall re parliament reconvene right. for an emergency right. statement. And then the formal application will go to the speaker seeking this leave to withdraw this particular hmm. agreement. I see. Interesting. Interesting one. So, uh, until by close of day, we will know whether or not what we're hearing there is any substance to what we're hearing of course we will know you know and, and i mean judging by what i mean looking at what is happening so far with regard to this this cabinet meeting so i don't have to wait till 2 a.m or 3 a.m wow. before you get something out of it wow but we'll know the the account people will say can of course we we'll know <laughs> elton Robe is presidential affairs correspondent elton thank you so much for that update there so we're keeping our fingers crossed waiting to find out what happens from that cabinet meeting will the ameri the renegotiated ameri now mitilineous uh, deal be off or will it still be outstanding we'll wait to see